Meow, 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 meow. Okay, so here I'm just kind of finding my way, mapping out the cat. And I usually get the feel in the air first before I put pen to paper. And I just kind of allow myself to find it. And everyone has a different way of doing this. Uh, it's up to you to find your own style. So this is a kind of chonky British blue cat with a big round face. So I got to be aware of that and make it look like the right kind of cat. Just working on the head first. Now the snout. Paying attention to the angle of the cat's head and making sure the snout is in the right place, relatively speaking. Nice swoopy lines. And this is just one way of doing it. I'll show some other ways on here too in future videos, getting that nice swoop for that paw that's sticking out. I love that paw. And all the while paying attention to the rhythm and flow of the drawing. So measuring angles. The roundness of the paw. Just fine in my way. And this, the bottom paw, it kind of goes out of the photo, so I'm kind of just judging where it needs to be. And all the while, I'm not trying to get exactness. I'm trying to get likeness to make sure we're convinced that this is a cat and this is the position the cat is in. But as I get the likeness, I'm also paying attention to rhythm and flow and making sure all the lines kind of, you know, swoop together in a nice rhythm and flow. Adding a bit of chonkiness to that head because we want it to look like a British blue. Just still finding my way, really. It's always what it's about. The muzzle. I find this the best way to kind of get the that snout and mouth and everything looking convincing. And then some lines for the eyes. So I kind of get that line that goes over the top of the eyes and then the one that goes underneath and then it's easier to place the eyes for me. You'll find your own way. I just hope that what I show you helps you somewhat and that you can find your own way within it and just do what works for you. We're all different and that's why it's called art. I sometimes feel a little jittery putting in the the um the eye on my left and I realized when I was doing this one that it was because I wasn't really resting my hand properly like I do for the for the eye on our right. I wasn't giving it kind of a a, a bit of stability and everyone's different because some people like to not even rest their hand on the paper, um, but whatever way you do it, it's okay. It's your way, and that's okay. More than okay, it's great. It's great when you find your own way as an artist, and it's always evolving. Just defining the eyes a little bit better. And as always, I suggest that you you watch my videos both 
with me talking and and also with the sound turned off both are beneficial getting that cute little nose I love paws. They're one of my favorite parts of cat drawing. They just have so much charm. Very endearing. Just kind of really feeling out where I want the paw pads to be, the toe beans. Think about each stroke. Take your time. Breathe. Proper breathing is really important in drawing. If you're holding yourself tense, it's it's really going to affect your drawing. I found a tail in there. I didn't really notice the tail until I got to that point. Thinking. It's fun to squeak a bit of a smile in there. And I don't mind if things are a little bit wonky, as long as they look comfortable. I find a little bit of wonkiness really adds character and charm. And it's up to you to find the degree that you're comfortable with. Just don't be too hard on yourself. Accept your style, love your style, work with your style. You know, I'm kind of just refining and, you know, getting some character in there. Just refining those paw pads. And here I was feeling a little like I got these toe lines a little bit uncomfortable looking. So I'm going back here to kind of find myself in just a sec here.
just kind of darkening up the eye lines and helping the eyes become the focal point. But I think the paws are a focal point too. I think paws are my absolute favorite part to draw. With, wicker, whisk, with whiskers, try not to totally follow exactly what you see the whiskers doing, just as long as you get the idea of whiskers. We want them to look quick and spontaneous, because that's kind of the way whiskers are. Just a subtle hint of whiskers. I never try to get all the whiskers, just, just so I know there's whiskers there. Okay, here's when I go back and fuss over those toe lines because I wasn't super happy with the angles they were doing. So I'm just kind of checking things here. Really just kind of checking over the whole drawing here now, making sure I'm happy with the comfort of it. You know, that it, the cat looks comfortable. And that it has character. Rhythm and flow. A few wiggle lines. Now that's where I kind of shape the paws better, the, the toes, I guess. You know, and this, I'm thinking right here, when I'm doing this, is that I should have done this to start with. It's all about learning. These lines kind of add a lot of energy and liveliness, I feel. And time to sign it. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.